A tragic start on this 4th of July for a St. Anne family as a man opens fire on a mother and her children in their home. Four are dead, including the gunman. Fox 2's Callista Matrician details the shooting that's now left a nine year old girl without her family. It was a fight over a car that escalated in this driveway, leading to four shot and killed inside of this home. Now a condemned sign sits on the front door. Police say due to how gruesome the scene is inside. By Tuesday afternoon, detectives still surrounded the house on Jane Avenue. Hours before, it was a whole swarm of enforcement. After reports came in of shots fired on Monday around 9 p.m. There was a barricaded subject, and uh, when I found out there was kids in there, uh, I gave the order that we're going in. We're not waiting for the SWAT team. Chief Aaron Jimenez and St. Anne Police weren't the only ones rushing to the scene. Well, St. Anne called and, and we knew it was a suspected quadruple homicide. Um, you know, you, you know it's not going to be good. The reality of what happened becoming more apparent after a nine-year-old was the only one who survived. To witness her mom and mom's boyfriend arguing because he's intoxicated and he's drunk, pull out a firearm, shoot her right in the face in front of her is uh, is going to have to be something that, you know, uh, she's going to have to live with that for the rest of her life. For the mother and two siblings, it's a different case. When we stacked the line, we saw the mom in the garage. They then found the suspect, 35-year-old Coleman McKilvin, with a gunshot wound to the head in critical condition. Next to him, I believe 14 year old. And he appeared to be deceased. The living room is where they found the five year old who was in critical condition, just barely a, a, a pulse, something that had the police department and prosecuting attorney in tears. These were innocent people who clearly did not deserve this fate, a situation that could have been avoided. They were arguing over the vehicle. McKilvin has a history of alcohol problems after refusing to let him drive drunk. And he got extremely upset over that. A mother, her five year old and 14 year old now dead. As for the suspect, the uh, suspect was taken to the hospital, but um, has not did not make it. The nine year old surviving victim is currently being treated at the hospital for her injuries before she'll be taken into custody by family. For now, reporting in St. Anne, Callista Matrician, Fox 2 News.